and I'm pretty hungry. I should have used a snack right now. Oh wait, this stuff has GMOs. Isn't that bad? Because it gives you hormones and allergies and makes you fat. How about this one instead? This one has no GMOs. That means it's more organic and natural and better for you. It's healthier. Well, man, I think you've got it all wrong. GMOs actually aren't as bad as you think. Come on, you know you know what you're talking about. Here, take the bad one. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Do you even know what GMO stands for? Uh, I didn't realize it was an acronym. Yeah, it is actually. Let me drop some knowledge on you. It stands for Genetically Modified Organism. Oh geez, I didn't know that. What does that even mean anyway? It means that scientists edit some part of the food's DNA to make it better suited for certain situations. Like what? For instance, we can make plants grow bigger, more resistant to harsh weather, or even add vitamins to help with people's deficiencies. So they're not injecting it full of bad stuff to make it unhealthy? No, not at all. But how? Think about it. Why would anybody go through the trouble of changing a plant's DNA to make it less healthy for people? Who does that help? Nobody. That's who. But there have been studies where they fed rats GMO corn and they got tumors. But they were fed a lifetime of corn. Do you eat corn for every single meal, every day? I mean, I don't. But you should realize that GMOs can be harmful and that there needs to be more research done on them. Fair point. However, I'm going to enjoy my GMO snacks. And I'll continue eating my non-GMO snacks.